there. It's getting hot in here. Or at least it is in D.C., and we're not talking about steaming midsummer heat. The Hill newspaper is just out with its much-anticipated list of the 50 most beautiful people on Capitol Hill. Jeff DeFore is the political gossip columnist for the Washington Examiner. Jeff, great to see you today. Thanks a lot. All right, first of all, I didn't even know that there were hot people in Washington. Yeah, I thought more... they were all too busy making laws, making changes in society. More and more so all the time. I think the old saw that Washington is Hollywood for ugly people is, uh, is less true than it's ever been. It's becoming a little bit more of a magnet like some other cities like New York and L.A. And uh, yeah, there are some attractive people up on the hill, even though they're doing, uh, doing the people's business. All right. Out of the fifth, there are three House lawmakers in the top ten. First of all, uh, Representative Connie Mack of Florida, number five on the list. Oh. And there we have next House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, number four. Right. And Brad Ellsworth, freshman representative from Indiana, number one. Would you consider these people heartthrobs? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of talk about all these folks on, on the Hill. Ellsworth is a former sheriff. He's, he's tall. He gets a lot of looks, a lot of comments. Uh, Connie Mack, interestingly, is now dating Mary Bono, who's been on the list in the past. Of course. And is one of the, arguably the most beautiful woman uh, in, the, in the Congress, and is the widow of, of Sonny Bono, the former congressman. And uh, Nancy Pelosi is, uh, I think she gets obviously points for being the House Speaker and being in that, uh, in that prominent position. But Pelosi has become sort of a style icon in the way that even First Ladies, I don't think, have been. I mean, she's 67 years old. 67 years and old. And she's considered a hottie. Yeah, uh, six grandkids. A lot of people have raised questions about plastic surgery with her, but uh, she looks great. Uh, she wears Armani almost exclusively and, and really spreads her wings as a, as, as a fashion plate, really more than a lot of other women in Washington uh, feel comfortable doing. You know, it's odd because uh, I have a lot of friends who live in D.C., and it seems like the ubiquitous complaint, there's nobody to date because the guys are all chasing their careers, the girls are all in the office early, and they stay late at night, and they're working too hard. So even if you're one of the hot people, does that ensure you a date? It depends. Oh, you sound so frustrated by that. <laughs> Is there personal experience behind that sigh? No, not for a very long time. Okay. I'm very happy. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there, there is frustration. I'm not sure if it's more uh, palpable than any, in, in any other large city uh, where, where people have those kinds of frustrations. Well, now at least it makes it obvious who you you could have number 25 on the list. Call you, number you've, got, you've got a phone book, essentially, or, yeah. or a directory. As you said, Connie, Connie Mack and Mary Bono, maybe they'll uh, make a great pair. Obviously, the, the, the most attractive couple on the Hill, if there were a list, they'd certainly be number one. <laughs> exactly. Hey, it's great to talk to you. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks very much. To buy or to sell, those are the questions being asked today amid the news that sales of new and existing homes fell during the month of June. Some warn this could be the worst housing market since the Great Depression. Russell Perlman is senior writer for Smart Money Magazine. I mean, is that the case? What about California in the 80s? Could this really top that? Well, if things keep going the way they are, we will see um, empty condos and empty houses, rows and subdivisions of, em of empty houses. You go back a couple days ago to the conference call held by Countrywide Mortgage. Countrywide is the um, nation's number one uh, underwriter of mortgages. And they were saying that uh, housing prices are falling faster than any time since the Great Depression. We've seen new home sales have dropped at a 22% clip year over year, and existing home sales falling at about an 11% clip year over year. But I thought the chief financial guys in our country just said they expected the housing market to stabilize. Well, um, uh, Uncle Ben Bernanke at the Federal Reserve has a considerably different opinion than a lot of private economists. A lot of private economists uh, expect the housing slump to continue, if not as badly as it has been over the past couple of months, at least to sustain throughout 2008 and perhaps in going into 2009. Now, the flip side of this is if you're a buyer of a house, this is a great time to look at a, a place to buy. Yeah, except what about the fact that you have rising interest rates? So even if, if home prices dropped just a little bit or if someone's had their house on the market for months, they may be willing to negotiate with you, you're still going to pay more for your mortgage than you did a couple years ago. That's true. Interest rates in 2003 and 2004 were the lowest they had been in 40 years. So yes, it was possible to get a third uh, fixed mortgage rate uh, at 5.5%, which is a great deal. But now we're looking at a 30-year mortgage rate of only